Got a uh, bullet camshaft and lifter kit. We're gonna do an unboxing right now. I called and ordered this cam for Bullet from Bullet. Um, told them what I wanted, something super mellow. I couldn't even tell you the specs. To be honest with you, I'm not a cam guy. I had a buddy make a recommendation on what I should get, so that's what I went with. Anyhow, for my Mopar 360, it's gonna be a really mild daily driver. But, uh, Bullet told me this would be 11 weeks, which I cringed at, and I think I waited three or four weeks. I mean, it was ridiculous. It just showed up right away, and uh, so it was the quickest 11 weeks I ever waited. So I was happy about that. box. Reminds me of the old fireworks for some reason. I don't know. Safe and sane fireworks from back in the 70s. Here's the specs on it. It's your Chrysler 273 through 360. Uh, I think rather than go over this I'll put this info in the description. Something like that. Anyhow, this is an unboxing. We're just looking at the stuff, right? Looks to be packaged well. Nothing too exciting. It's a camshaft, right? that in a bit. Check out the lifters. What's up, dude? What's going on? I'm doing a uh, cam <laughs> unboxing video. It's weird to walk in here. There's no dart here. Yeah, that's right. That's just bizarre. <laughs> yeah, we just cruised it. So, yeah, wow. have you heard about any of the cam crisis going on? Yes. Why is this a thing now all of a sudden, Todd? Isn't that weird? I know exactly why. And uh, it's basically shit lifters. Um, but the big companies that are that are have money for marketing and stuff, they're just putting shit parts in the box and selling them to us. And uh, you know, you think all these cams are great, Lunati and and all that, and comp cams. And they have shit products. I mean, I paid basically for the cam and the lifters it was a hundred dollars more than the Lunati setup. And this is just a privately owned business. 
Um, so, I mean, I, I'm hopeful that they have a better product, but I think that's the way to go anyway, is support the mom and pop businesses, right? Still, yeah, if possible. Yeah, I would say so. But, uh, so, apparently a lot of these cams that are failing don't have a crown on lifters. And so they're not rotating in the bore like they should be. And so they end up flattening the cam. Um, I don't have the means to measure. So when you're talking about this, the camshaft dilemma of the, of, of the circle, is this a recent thing, Todd? And is it only, is it, are you only talking about like aftermarket shit, like what you're buying, or is it just all cams and all engines? And you know, I, I don't have enough knowledge on the subject to answer that, but I, I think this is probably at least Going back five years, maybe somebody knows can put it in the comments. Interesting. But I think it's going back like five years. I had zero problem with the Lunati cam I put in my Polara. Um, and I don't know what brands have been affected by it. That too, maybe someone can comment. Um, I know comp cams is a big one. They have major problems. But I mean, I feel, I, I can feel a crown on these lifters. Um, and they all have a nice chamfer. It's just weird. Yeah. It looks like a good product. Bullet cams. What's the, uh, what's the, what's the story on the cam? What's, is it stock 360 or a little better than stock? It's that too. I can't answer. I, I was just saying how I'm not a cam guy, so I went with a recommendation that Lee made on on the numbers on this. Ah, yeah. Um, uh, duration. Lift and direct. 0 0.05 intake 220 exhaust 225 my eyes are tired terrible uh low lift 3000.3000 3, i think that is so um lash valve lash 0 0.000 i'll put this info in the description anyway i went with the uh, bullet which I believe to be a mom and pop shop, um, hoping to get a better product, and I think everybody else should do that too. Screw the big companies. Yeah, mom and pop shop.